Hi Church, I'm Michelle, I'm married to Dave. We've got two children, uh, Nathan and Mia, who are 14, twins, and we go to the South location. The verses I want to share with you from today um, are from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, 9 to 12. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labour. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can keep one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. So you might be familiar with those verses. They're often read at weddings and related to the marriage relationship and uh, that kind of romantic relationship. But I also feel that they can be related to relationships that are not just about marriage for our wider communities, our friendships and other relationships that we've got in our lives. Solomon, in all of his wisdom, is pointing out that we're not meant to do life alone. We're meant to be in community and relationship with one another. God has placed people in our lives to support us and to help us and to guide us and to come alongside us. In work setting, we kind of get more done when there's more than one person doing the heavy lifting. When we fall, we can have practical support to help us up. And when we're cold, we can get warmth from others, from sharing body heat, getting, getting alongside other people. And when we're feeling overwhelmed, we can gain strength from being with other people. They also remind me of that Bill Withers song, Lean On Me. Um, Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Unfortunately, I'm not a very good singer. Otherwise, I'd love to sing it. But I think that song is all is about kind of spurring one another's arm. I work for a charity called Safe Families. And, and I'd say the majority of families that we come across are feeling isolated, they're feeling overwhelmed by the circumstances and they're feeling alone. This then leads on to other difficulties in their lives. And a major part of our organisation and the goal is to link families to the communities that they belong to so that they've got that sense of belonging. Because by doing this, some of the other difficulties that they're experiencing in life um, are diminished. And as a plea, as an aside, I suppose, if you're not involved in Safe Families and you're wanting to help people in your local community, please do get in touch to see how you can do that as part of the website. But also on a personal level, I've definitely experienced the feeling of feeling overwhelmed, overpowered by circumstances and felt that I needed to be pulled up to stand. The past 12 months, probably longer, but have been the most emotionally, physically and mentally draining of our lives. In November last year, um, after years of kind of family troubles and struggles, in our wider family, we found ourselves uh, caring for two small children as kinship foster carers and balancing all that brought, brought with it, which was more than we expected. So we had difficult family dynamics, balancing working full time and additional roles that we've got outside of work as well. Navigating myself on a per personally um, potential redundancy and trying to prove that I was worth not being made redundant at the same time as trying to, you know, battle all that but, but caring for two children that were emotionally damaged and affected and that, that have got some kind of challenging behavioral stuff as well working with social care system whilst trying to hold family life to as near possible as normal as we could for the our own children and um, who are emerging from like lockdown trying to get their relationships as normal as possible to say it was challenging and has been challenging is a totally <laughs> huge understatement at times, I have felt that I've literally been losing my mind and going under from the pressure of trying to balance everything. But truth be told, those days, they still exist. There are still times when I think, I, I really can't do this. And we're probably about halfway through the process and we know that there are probably tougher days to come as the children move to the next chapter, whether that, whatever that may entail. But the one thing that other than God that's kept me going is our community around us of friends and family that have supported us. Our church community kind of completed meal rotors early on when their children were placed when we so we didn't have to just think about what that entailed. Friends that have babysat, helped with our own children, given them a bit of respite as a bit of a break. Um colleague that's done overnight respite for um for the little ones just to give us that sense of normality. My place of work has been really gracious with their flexibility and, and understanding as I'd need to take time off and now I've got other childcare commitments that I didn't have before. 
community friends have been there to offload to and listen to me cry for umpteenth time not with any answers because there aren't any easy solutions but just to listen and to be there and the end is not necessarily in sight and like I said tougher days are probably more to come they're ahead but I know that we will emerge through that the other side stronger as a family unit and definitely have lessons learned and our faith will be stronger and our community around us are continuing to support us through those days and I'm sure that you can recall times in your own life when your community around you has lifted you up and helped you through those difficulties that have just felt overwhelming and if this is not something that you have experienced I would urge you to seek out some like-minded people so that you can get that sense of belonging and that sense of community and, and people there in your li own life and that's not necessarily easy but through finding like life groups or um, a similar interest group, whether that's through running or singing, um, neither of which apply to me because I can't do either. But, you know, a coffee group or something that you can meet like-minded people um, to meet friends, however that may look for you. It is God's intention and design for me and for you to be in community, to have that sense of belonging. So I challenge you, even when it's feeling uncomfortable and might go out of time of your comfort zone and at times when you feel I haven't got the energy to do that, just to push through and to seek communities of people that, that really understand you, that know you and understand you and can be there and help you to strengthen you and to enrich your life. And if you already have that community of people in your life, just to take time out today to thank God for those people. And to ask God to see, show how you can appreciate and um, show your appreciation for those families and for those people that you've got around you and how, you know, they might highlight to you something way that they may need your support and, to, and your encouragement today. So, yeah, I just wanted you to look at your communities, really, and just to just to see to seek out people that can support you when you need that, but also how you can support those people around you. Um, have a great day, whatever you're doing, or a great evening, whatever time of the day it is that you are listening to this, um, and have a good week. Take care. Bye.